Hey guys, welcome to our first ever Blake and Josh uh, Rapture Films kind of podcast. Uh, this is a yeah. this is a conversation Blake and I have been having for a while. On a, we were both interested in in doing a podcast, and uh, we commented on our Facebook page uh, to see if you guys were interested. And we got a lot of feedback, and a lot of people saying that they'd uh, that they'd want to tune in for something like that. Mm-hmm. And uh, Blake and I spend you know a couple hours every week talking on the phone anyway so we thought you know why not record it and see what happens so (laughs) yeah uh this is definitely going to be a guinea pig round uh we're kind of just figuring out i mean we've never done anything like this before so we're just kind of figuring out basically uh how all of it works uh you know everything going into it it's a lot more than you'd think honestly uh but we're just we're going to see how this goes and then if it goes well we're going to keep doing it uh if it doesn't going to go if it doesn't go well we're going to keep doing it let's let's just go yeah, man if you could see our <laughs> if you could see our setups right now we are we're both doing something crazy so i've got I've got Blake on the phone. I've got Blake on the phone. My headphones hooked in. Yeah, we can't see each other. We can't yeah, see so each other. We're just talking on the phone, basically. But I've got headphones on my phone. I've got a microphone hooked into my laptop. I've got a lamp on the table, like <laughs> lighting me up. Like uh, it's, it's a mess. I have what's called a a potential fire hazard going on here. I have one outlet with uh, one like multi strip with several and it's entirely filled uh, with this microphone, with this lamp, with this laptop, with this phone. A uh, lot of moving parts to this is what I'm saying. Yeah, we uh, Blake and uh, I had the, had the conversation <laughs> uh, like kind of what we wanted this podcast to be and uh, one of the main things we said is like we don't want any cuts. We don't want any like any uh, breaks in the action. Yeah, it's all it's natural. All natural. It's just going to be us like hanging out and talking. But if Blake like so, if we completely screw it up, if you Blake know, starts a fire in his house or something, we'll uh we'll cut from that. But <laughs> <laughs> otherwise, it's gonna be one go. Just see what happens. Mm. Absolutely. Uh, this podcast is uh, currently unnamed, but by the time we post it, it'll have a name. So uh, welcome to uh, yeah, Blake and Josh's unnamed podcast. Until you see welcome the video, to insert name here, podcast. All right, <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. Uh, so uh, I thought the I thought the first right. thing that we could do is uh, uh, just kind of talk about you know what uh, Blake and I are up to this summer because uh, Blake and I are mm-hmm. normally together in the summers and that's when you see like the videos of of us together. But yeah. um, unfortunately, yeah. this summer that is not the case. Uh, not to say we're not having great summers because I mean I can't speak for Blake, mm-hmm. but I'm having a wonderful summer. Um, <laughs> Me too. Me yeah, too. This is our way of kind of, you know, hanging out without being together. So, so yeah, Blake. Uh, Blake Absolutely. Tell, tell the folks uh, what you're doing this summer. Yeah. No. So uh, I'm actually I am working in Muncie. So um, for any of you guys who keep up with uh, my life, if you're watching this, you probably do. Uh, I go to Ball State University. Uh, I'm going to be a senior this year. That's crazy. I have no idea how that School happened, man. Like, how does that? By. How does? How does time? Yeah, how does time work like that? It feels like just yesterday we graduated high school high together. High school flew by like, what? too. It's it's insane. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um. Anyway, so I'm gonna be a senior this year. Uh, I'm working at a place uh, where I've worked for the past three years called the Digital Core. Uh, it's where I got this microphone. Actually, I rented it out from them. So uh, whenever I graduate, I'll have to find a new mic situation. But we'll talk about that later. Uh, I've been doing a lot of video work, and I actually just got back from California. For those of you who watched my vlog with my friend Ty, so I went to VidCon. I uh, got to see Anaheim, California. That's uh, where the big video convention is. Um, it's a whole lot of fun out there, uh, but it's very, very expensive. To any of my uh, California friends watching this right now, just know that you have to make far more money than I do. Uh, the in and out workers there start for more money than I do now, and I've been working for three <laughs> three years at my job. Yeah. Uh, but that's just the cost of living, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. I think the cost of living um, is a lot higher on both coasts. Like, I think it's definitely higher yeah. on the West Coast. But, like, even... Yeah, it's just like a even gradient. In Delaware, like... The which is very east coast. It's right on. It's right along the uh, yeah the ocean. But like, man, like things are so much more expensive here. Like I'll go to the outlets and just like kind of like peruse and see like what things <laughs> what things are. And like a, a shirt, yeah. just like you know a normal shirt, like the one I'm wearing. Blake, you can't see it, but that's fine. But like no, I can't. <laughs> like a normal shirt would be 
like eighty, ninety dollars, <laughs> and it's like, oh my, god. <laughs> oh it's, my, it's insane. And where are you so, shopping? That's well, a better the cool question, thing dude. Is, like they have no sales tax, <laughs> so like whatever's listed on the tag, oh. like that's how much you pay for it. But that being said, like <laughs> it's so expensive. Like, I feel like if you buy a lot yeah. of things, it'll probably, like, even out or maybe even tip in the favor of uh, of here being cheaper. Yeah. But, like, man, if you're just buying yeah. like, one thing, like... Yeah, dude, you have to take out a loan to get groceries. <laughs> That's for wild. For real, though, like, <laughs> man, I love no, the coast uh, and I love visiting, but I, I don't think I could live there. <laughs> Not on a youth ministry. It's got to just be, like, a gradient from, like, uh, the East Coast and the West Coast. Like, uh, when you, like, on the outer edges, it's, like, expensive. And then as it slowly comes into the Midwest, it's like, oh, everything gets cheaper, <laughs> you know? Uh, I love Indiana for that. Oh, yeah. You know, people can say whatever they want about Indiana, but, man, it is cheap here, dude, and I love you want- it. You know, that's not an insult. That's not an insult. You easily spend, like, five bucks, like, Mm -hmm. and have, like, Mm -hmm. a decent, it's like, like, (laughs) decent meal. But then again, we're making, we're making (laughs) dirt compared to the people on the coast, so I guess it all (laughs) evens out. (laughs) It's like, oh, yeah, you've got the World Trade Center? Well, I've got, uh, I can get a meal for $4. You heard of Stack Rock? (laughs) We have that. None of you know what that is. Oh, yeah. Some of you might. No. Hey, have you ever heard of soybeans? (laughs) We've got those. Soybeans, corn, yeah. and a lot of cows. That's a, that's our whole area. <laughs> um, so I, I got to go to a, a yeah, VidCon yeah. again this year. And uh, honestly, that that's really – it's really cool getting to go there because uh, I just feel like um, – I feel the life of all these uh, up-and-coming creators, all these uh, people who make content. Like, it just, I feel reinvigorated mm. when I go back because I just run into all these people who are like, oh, subscribe, I do this, I do that, this is what I'm passionate about, all of this. And it's hard not to get amped up about that sort of thing, you know, because I'm not used to being around that many people that are like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but it, it was a lot of, it was a lot of fun. Um, I'm trying to think about what else we did. Uh, I got to experience... Um, this this isn't so much a fun part from the vacation, but uh, you know I'm thoroughly convinced airports are like one of the nine circles of hell. <laughs> you know, bad experiences. In honestly, the airport, I huh? I hate the airport. I like there is no question about that. Like air travel is just it's the worst, man. So it did sucks. You fly, did like you fly I straight from Indy to LAX, or did you have a layover? No, no. So, well, okay. So I did first. I didn't fly to LAX. I did that last oh, year. I flew to Oakland okay, this okay. time, but I had a layover. And so what happened? What happened was, I left. Uh, I went with Rachel, my girlfriend. She drove me to the airport, uh, and she started driving me probably like four or like uh, five or something. And then I get this email, and it says, uh, "I have a six thirty p.m. flight." And the email says, uh, "Like you're." First flight would make you miss, like your first flight was delayed, and it would make you miss your layover Ooh. flight. Therefore, we put you, we put you on another flight at 6:30 a.m. Oh. And I'm like, oh, okay, that's 12 hours oh, from now. Man. And so we get there, and I, and she's like, oh man, what are you gonna do? I'm like, I guess I'm just gonna stay here you know like what else am i gonna do and i'm thinking like in my head like in my head i'm hardened you know it's like oh i can survive oh, this like this is oh, fine in, you know like i can spend 12 hours i'm a man i'm a big boy so i can spend 12 hours at the airport though. yeah no no it's okay it's that's what i'm telling you it's one of the circles of hell man you they delay your flights then they charge you too much for coffee and food <laughs> and then and like they're they give you a terrible service yeah. man Ter- like American, don't fly American Airlines. <laughs> first of all, just let that be not known, a man. Definitely they, not a sponsor. yeah, they <laughs> definitely not a sponsor. <laughs> they delayed uh, two of my flights in a row, which I, I recognize that they can't control that. However, they can control how they treat their customers, and they whole time they just treated me like, well, first of all, like an infant. Like I went up and I was like, "Hello, do you have any idea when?" Uh, like, this flight's going to be in when this is going to be resolved. They're like, well, sometimes planes can't take off. <laughs> I'm like, <"What?" laughs> Oh, my gosh. I understand that. I'm not a child. Like, please, just help me. <laughs> and then, so, my luggage comes in on the wrong flight. Oh, my. Like, I get to California, and I, like, go to find my luggage, and they're like, oh, yeah, well, your luggage is in Phoenix. And I'm like, that's where, that's where I just was. Why is, why the heck is it there? They're like, well, oh, no. the next flight comes in in three hours. So I said, okay, uh, when can I pick it up? And they said, uh, anytime. 
Like, as soon as it comes in, it'll come in, like, three hours from now, which I, I believe that. The plane will come in three hours, and they're like, you could pick it up then. So I say, okay. So I leave with Ty. Uh, we go have a great time in uh, San Francisco. You can watch it in the vlog on Rapture Films, you know. Come back at four. Um, or, no, sorry, we come back at three. And show up, and I go to the little baggage claim uh, office where I went before to talk to someone. And I see my luggage through the glass. Like, it's pressed right up against yeah. the window, just close enough that I can see it and read my name. I'm like, okay, there it is. And then I go to open the door, and it's it's locked. Uh. I'm like, okay, so nobody's there. So I go, I go speak to someone from customer service. I'm like, hello, um... My bag is in there. And they say, oh, well, you need to talk with someone from American Airlines. So I said, okay. So I went to look for someone from American Airlines, and all of their booths are shut down. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so I went over, and I was like, hello, uh, could you page someone from American Airlines? There's no there's no one here. And she said, oh, yeah, no, nobody's going to be here until 4. And I was like, what do you mean? Like, they're a, they're a whole airline. Like, did all their employees leave? And she's like, yes. <laughs> oh my gosh! What? <laughs> like, so did you? All of your you employees until the are gone. No, no, no. It, it was okay. I'm, you know, I'm really over exaggerating. It's, it, I did have to wait an hour and a half so to get the luggage, in, but so still, but still, and everybody had left. I so I, so yes, so I landed at eleven, uh -huh. eleven a.m. My they told me that my luggage would come in in okay. three hours, so my luggage came in. At okay. two, okay. I show up at three to pick it up because they told me any time, and then they say, "Oh yeah, the American Airlines employees won't be back until four. <laughs> and so Ty has to go find a place to park because the airport only lets you park for half an hour before they start to charge oh, you. So like he has to drive around because he doesn't want to pay like twenty dollars yeah. to park. And I just sit there and wait, just demoralized. And then finally they give me my luggage back, and one of the wheels is broken oh, off. My goodness. And I'm like. I just can't win. Um, don't let that, don't let that convince you I didn't have a good time. I had a great time in California, but Airport. just avoid, avoid airports. <laughs> drive. I don't. You know, it would have been like a thirty-hour drive, but you know what? I would have been in uh, control. Never once would I have had to look at a customer service representative from uh, American man. Airlines and just been yeah, angry. Man, I. Uh, <laughs> so my. Uh, you know the my worst part. Rachel's going to hear this, and then she's going to make fun of me because she was already like, oh, you're overreacting, and now she's hey, going to watch she didn't this and make fun of me. So she can't say that you're overreacting. <laughs> no, exactly. <laughs> hey, so, yeah, when, um, man, airport experiences. Like, when I, uh, when I went to Israel, because I just went to Israel this past, um, spring semester. Yeah. Um, not for the whole semester, just for, like, two weeks, a little over. But, um, mm -hmm. not even two weeks, actually. It was, like, 13 days. But, um, so... I flew out of Indy initially, so we left from Indy, and my first flight was from Indy to Newark, and then... Newark, where's that? Where's um, that? It's northeast. It's like, it's one of the bigger okay. airports, it's where like most of the flights that are going overseas, just, like, depart Just up from. there, up in the sky. Um, okay. So, we flew from Indy to Newark, and my first flight no problems like it was it was very like smooth yeah it was short it was like it was nice like it was you know in the middle of the day so i wasn't tired or anything like pleasant flight yeah and then i get to mm -hmm. i get to newark and it's it's like it's getting later so so like i'm getting yeah. tired and like i'm about to get on like a red eye that's going over the over the ocean mm. like over the atlantic ocean all the way to uh okay from newark to tel aviv which is like 13 hours it's a long flight and and oh, i i get there ugh. i get there and i um i'm like with my group and i realize that the piece of paper that like in indianapolis they printed off two boarding passes they print it off. Yeah, for like your yeah, layover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For your for layover. My first flight and my second flight. And I realized that they printed the same boarding pass twice. So I didn't have my boarding pass for um, Newark to Tel Aviv. I only had the one to Indy. <laughs> and I was like, oh no, like I'm going to be stuck in Newark. So I go to, I go to the customer <laughs> service desk and I walk up to them and, <laughs> and I'm like, Ma'am, I think there was a mistake. Um, I didn't get like my boarding pass for my like for my next flight, 
and she's like did you go to the kiosk and like in Indy? And I was like, yes, I did. And I like went through the whole like process and she's like, well, it should have printed both of them. And I was I, like, I, I don't know what to tell you. Like I just, it, it didn't, yeah. it didn't print it. And she was like, she was like, like, have you, obviously you have, but like in monsters Inc, like the, the grouchy, like secretary, like yeah. that's, that's yeah. what this woman is like acting like with me like she's just not having it and what do we do to these people man just airport workers parking services they're all blood suckers man know, but like i'm just there i'm like <laughs> i just don't want to miss my flight i don't want to get left behind like as my the rest because of then... my group is in israel and like <laughs> she was just furious and then she finally got gets it printed off and like i get on my flight like i make it through customs like i'm like okay like we're we're in this and so i i'm journeying through the plane and it's a huge plane like the biggest plane i've ever been mm. on and okay and i'm like pretty much in the very back which you know it's whatever yeah like pretty much all yeah. of the uh all of the like areas like economy are pretty much the same quality like First class is way nicer, but everything else is, like, pretty nice. Like, the seats kind of lean back, and, like, you have your own TV and stuff. Like, it's a really nice flight. Okay. But I get to the back, and I was just like, I hope I'm not sitting next to weirdos. Like, that was my one (laughs) wish. Because I usually, like, I'm a pretty talkative guy, and, like, I like to talk to Mm -hmm. the people that I'm sitting with on planes. Like, I'm just weird like that. If those people annoy you, I'm sorry. Okay. But I'm one of them. (laughs) <laughs> and, and so i get back there and i'm like oh no because i see i see uh so my friend is uh the the seats are like four four wide so there's uh four on the window side and then there's four in the middle okay. and then there's four on the other window side and i'm in the middle and not only am i in the middle section i'm in the middle of the middle section so i have my friend okay. to the left of me and then I have a stranger to the right of me. And the it turns out that the stranger that I was so lucky to be graced with was a I don't I don't mean to sound this way if it sounds bad, but a very <laughs> large Italian man. Very large, like like at least at least two x's maybe more but so i have this huge man next to me and and on the other side of my friend is i assume his brother because they're like the same person they're the same size you ran into mario and mario luigi, and luigi dude. were on both sides of us in the plane but luigi had, had a lot of spaghetti since i've seen him last time because man were these men large and we're on this plane forever and we're just sandwiched in between these two huge men and it was the most uncomfortable flight ever. Like, me and my friend Brad were kind of just, like, leaning up against each other and, like, trying to sleep. <laughs> and, like, these men were, like, they were, like, watching their movies. They were they were cold. Like, they didn't want to have any conversations. Like, it was just, it was such an uncomfortable experience. <laughs> but, man, airports, airplanes. Airports are, are the worst. Evil. You know, I'm... <laughs> the unnecessary evil it, i will concede yeah it's you know still i spent less time in the airport flying around than i would have driving oh yes yeah, so but i'm sure I, I i can't i can't even i can't even i can't even say i would have enjoyed it more driving because i'm sure i would make a liar out of myself very quickly after even the fifth hour of driving i would regret yeah, doing for it for sure for sure um you know uh another thing that happened um while we were out there so we were getting some uh, some b-roll for the, uh, th- this is a nicer story. You know, we've been talking about a well, lot of negative California. things. This is a nicer story. Yeah. Um, while I was in California, we, I was with Ty. Um, uh, for those of you who don't know Ty, he is our friend from YouTube. Uh, his channel's Great Job Ty. And uh, I went to VidCon with him last year, and then I went with him, spent the full week this year. Um, and we were out in San Ramon, and we were, uh, 
quite literally chasing the sunset uh, for B-roll. If you watch the vlog, you'll see some uh, some some B-roll of a, a lovely beautiful. sunset. And honestly, it's beautiful. it's just so beautiful out there. It really is. Um, one thing that I will give California, uh, despite being so expensive, is just it's it's just got this unrivaled beauty to it, yeah. man. Uh, and maybe that's just coming from you know spending most of my life here in Indiana, where it's it's pretty, but it's just it's flat and it's kind of you know you get used to it. Uh, but so we're out here and uh, we we're uh, like alongside the road, and then we see this uh, like gently sloping hill, basically. Um, and then I, I pointed out to him, and the whole time this is uh, towards the end of the trip. Basically, the whole trip I've been just pointing at mountains. And, like, things that we see along the side of the road, like, hey, man, wouldn't it be so cool to climb that? Like, I bet it wouldn't take that long. And he's like, dude, do you understand how big that thing is? He's like, that would take hours, if not days. I'm like, no, man, we could do it in, like, 15 minutes. No problem. Oh, my God. Uh, anyway, so I finally, I see this, and I look at him, Classic. and I point, yeah, and I point at it, and I point at it, and uh, he looks at me, and he just shrugs. He's like, all right. All right, yeah. So we, we ascend this, um, I can't even call it a mountain. That would be a, an exaggeration. We ascend this gently sloping large yeah. hill. And we get to the top, and boy, it's it just gives you this vantage over San Ramon. You see all these residential areas. You see all these like hills around. And we get to watch the sunset. Yeah, sweet. And so we get B-roll. We, we get B-roll for a little bit. Um, but then after that, I'm like, you know what? Forget, like, let's just turn the cameras off. Like, I just want to, I just want to enjoy this. You know, it's, it's. Not very often that you get to do yeah, something like sure. this. So we just both we just both popped a squat there in the uh, you know the nice tall yellow grass, and we just uh, we watched the sunset. And after that, I looked at him uh, and I asked, you know, when was the last time that you stopped and did something like this? And he's like, what? Watch the sunset? And I said, yeah. And he's like, I can't remember. And I was like, now you can. Um, Sweet. I don't know. It's it's just something that uh, you know. You don't even think about that every single day. You know, the sun rises, it falls. We don't even pay attention. We're so concerned with uh, what yeah, we're doing in our day-to-day -day lives. It's very easy to, uh, you know, get caught up in routine and, like, kind of take for granted, like, everything around you. Because, like, I'm in Delaware for the summer, um, which you know, but the people mm -hmm. listening might might not. And um, yeah, um, I'm in Delaware for the summer working for a church uh, as an intern. But, um like I just get caught up in my daily routines and like I will just like sit sit down at the end of the day and realize it's like man like I live right next to the ocean and I haven't been to the beach in like a week and it's like why like why not <laughs> you yeah. know like why why am I yeah. going like every day or every other day like you know it's just like the small things mm -hmm. like that like we get so caught up in what we're doing like we're just like we just yeah. look everything else and I mean, that's part of growing mm -hmm. up because, like, you have so so many responsibilities, but, like... Mm -hmm. I feel like it's also just getting used to things, you know? Like, I remember as a kid, like, I always knew... I always had friends that had, like, trampolines. And I'm like, hey, do you want to go play on the trampoline? And they're always like, no, no. <laughs> I'm like, why? And then I realize now, as I get older, it's because they play on the trampoline yeah. all the time, you know? I never had a trampoline at home, so every time I see one, I'm like, yeah, 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 let's I'm jump. I still like that. <laughs> you know? I love trampolines. <laughs> <laughs> no, me too. I love trampolines. I love pools. Yeah, I know a lot of people with pools, too, that I'm like, hey, do you want to swim? They're like, nah, nah. Like, I just, uh, like you got a pool, man. Like, you got chlorinated water out there. Jump yeah, in. Man, I, uh, <laughs> I, feel like I've been, I feel like I've been a little bit annoyed. Like, um, I'm living with, I'm living with like, my college roommate and, um, and yeah. Mark. And uh, I feel like so often I'm like, Hey Mark, do you want to swim tonight? Like, do you want to go swimming? Because like the house that we're staying in like has a super nice pool. And yeah. Like, it's just like, like uh, most of the time he'll say yes, but like sometimes he's like, nah, I don't want to swim tonight. And I'll just be like, why? And then like, I just go out and swim anyway. But like, yeah, I mean we get used to stuff, and then it's not as you know yeah. not as appealing. Yeah. <sighs> you know, Josh. Um. We've been doing this for a long time, haven't we? We've known each other for a long time. Yeah, I mean, we sort of met freshman year, not really. Sort of met freshman year. Yeah, you want to you want to talk about how you want to talk about how we met? Um, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so freshman year, uh, freshman year, we didn't really like talk a whole lot. Um, no. I was transferred into Blake's Spanish class freshman year oh i remember i remember this vividly like halfway through the year because yeah. like my schedule like 
I, I like switched around one of my classes and then I don't remember entirely the reason why I switched in, but yeah. that's just how it worked out. And then, um, that was our first time meeting. And, uh, <laughs> Dude, I, I remember to this day meeting you there because I'm pretty sure, did, did you have a beard at that time or like some, you had some facial hair. I'm convinced. Yes. I because had, I had facial hair. It wasn't what I have now or yeah, anything. No, not close. Today. Not close. But I remember, and I don't know, man. I remember because I was like, at the time, you know, being 14 years old, I was really small. I was really, really fat. Um, <laughs> it's, it's, it's the truth. It's the truth. I was like five foot four and like 200 pounds. It was not good. Um, but, and I remember I saw you there and I saw you from across the room and I saw your facial hair. And that was a class for freshmen, which you were, but I didn't know that. And seeing your facial hair, I was like, that guy's not a freshman. He's like 30 years old. Like, and then I assumed that you had to be like a bad student or like a bad kid to be in my class because I thought you were like a senior or something. I was just yeah. stupid. I was just yeah, dumb. So at our high school, at our high school, we had the option of if you wanted, if you wanted the, uh, what was it? Core 40 or academic honors? Which criteria uh, was it? Uh, there's languages. both. Uh, anyway, you have to take. You, had, you have to take. Yeah. Had, okay. You had the. That option. was academic honors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You had the option to either take three years of one language or two years of two languages. So um, most of the time, freshmen would just like pick a language and then be in it through, like, like through junior year, and then they were done. So did you assume that I was like? that I took a language for two years and then like switched over? Or did you just think that I was just a bad student and like, uh, you know, I, well, I looked up, like, I looked over and I was like, I can't look at him too long. Cause he's going to rub off on me. I'm scared. <laughs> you know, I was one of the, you know, I was a good kid back then. <laughs> oh, how times have changed. To how awful you are now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, so, um, that was that was freshman year, and then hmm. we didn't really talk. Um, no, I don't think I ever actually like, spoke to you there. But yeah, yeah, yeah. So we didn't really. Well, we we had a few conversations, but nothing like too crazy. Yeah. I don't remember them. I just remember that we no. spoke a few times. Yeah. But um, then we um. So we had Spanish three together, right? Spanish three. Yeah, yeah. Spanish three. Um, uh, Miss Jackson's. Sixth, it was sixth period. My God, man, these memories are like flooding back now. Like I haven't thought about this. Like if you yeah. put me in front of my high school locker, I might be able to open it right now. Who knows? <laughs> man, but yeah, we had we had Spanish together. I don't recall what period it was. It could have been. No, six. I don't no, know. I, that's but, a lie, um, probably. For some reason, I feel like it was before lunch, not after. But that doesn't matter. <laughs> that doesn't matter. But um, we we were. Uh, our, our desks got assigned together, right? Yeah, we like you were way. you were like right behind me, or I was right one of those two. Yeah, and uh, how how did we start talking? Uh, so I I I don't remember specifically, but I I okay. I, I do remember pretty specifically. Uh, it was uh, I was either humming a song or we were talking about something, but uh -huh. it got brought up, I believe. Uh, Cold oh, plays Viva La Vida or something. Exactly. I and it was exactly what it was. Yeah, and it you was were, uh You were talk... humming you were humming Viva La Vida. Yeah. And I asked you, I was like, Are you humming Viva La Vida or Fallen Kingdom? <laughs> By Captain Sparkles. <laughs> <laughs> Who is a Minecraft YouTuber. Well, he doesn't he doesn't really do Minecraft anymore, I don't think. Like but, he yeah. does a lot of things. But like we had both seen one of his Minecraft music videos, which is a parody of that song. And so we started talking about that, and then we, like, started talking about Minecraft and then YouTube, and then we just kind of bonded from there because, like, yeah. YouTube was something that really interested both of us. So It began with Minecraft. That's... Yeah, it began. It all started with Minecraft. Minecraft and YouTube. Dude, video games have brought me and so many of my friends together. I met Jacob, my friends Jacob and Corey, and uh, basically I got, I don't think I would have got the job where I have the job now if I didn't overhear them talking about Super Smash Brothers. I just tapped my poster because there's a Super Smash Brothers poster right here. But I overheard them talking, like, they said something about, like, I overheard Luigi and I was standing behind them in line for, like, a complimentary breakfast as, like, a uh -huh. freshman bonding thing. And uh, I'm, like, standing here with, like, with my arms crossed and they're like, oh, yeah, something about, like, 
He said, like, Luigi's Nair is, like, what he said, which is, like, a, an attack. <laughs> and I was like, uh, you guys talking about Smash? And they, like, both turned, like, look over their backs. And I was like, you know what? I dabble, you know? And then that was <laughs> that was the genesis of that. But, uh, no, That's video awesome. games. Um, Josh, when did we, uh, when did we make our first video together? That was a long time ago now. Was that, uh, yeah. well, 20... Yeah, it, jun- it was junior year, so... 2013? 2013, potentially. Would, yeah, you know it is because that's that's the date on the YouTube videos, you know. Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So the first one that we did together was. Um, uh, was Char-tars. it dying to live? Char. No, it was yes. Char-tars. No, because we've shot that the night before, right? Or like we two shot nights that before. The day before. Um... <laughs> like a like a huge project. <laughs> yeah. And it was so dumb. And the thing, you can still find it, right? It's still, yes. <laughs> it's still it's available still on the channel. Available for the for your viewing done, pleasure. We have done two of them so far. Mm. They they let's they drop feature, those babies in the link, in the feature, in the description below. Me and Austin, as two as two man children <laughs> fighting over the right to use Charizard in a Pokemon game, and uh, there are two of them. And we we've got to make we got to round out the trilogy eventually. Yeah, well, there's so. well, there's uh, you know um, politically incorrect is all get out you know whatever. But there's charatards, there's blastards, and then you know uh, there's a, some, set to be day. a venatards <laughs> at an eventually. indefinite date at an indefinite eventually. date in the future. Whenever we can all get together and muster up the courage. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that was a trip. But then, yeah, so those those videos, and then um, we did Dying to Live the very next day. Do you remember uh, that? Do you remember how, like, how, how just how much horrible, things have changed since like, then? How horrible the filming was, because we filmed it in the middle of winter. Yeah, which, well, like, it, was, it, was, it was like November. It wasn't snowing. It wasn't snowing, yeah, but, but it, it was, was cold. cold. It was like, so cold. Indiana winters get very cold, and... It was such an ambitious project. Mm. Like, the most Blake ambitious I, that we'd ever done. Blake and I kept working on the script together because we're like, like, oh, you're interested in YouTube, so am I. Let's make a zombie movie. <laughs> like, yeah, and you know, a couple of a uh, thing to another, but like a couple of what, like sixteen, seventeen year olds making a, a whole film, um, didn't work out great. It gave us a lot of experience, but what well, was that? Three days? Was that three days that we shot? Um, I think it's it been was so just long. Two. I just it, think it, I think it was just two, but it was out in the freezing cold, like from sunrise outside, outside all day, like sunset. Yeah, like, no, it was. Oh my goodness! <laughs> no interior everybody scenes. Was, everybody was furious with each other. Like <laughs> that like was if someone. If someone would mess up their lines, everybody would start screaming at them, and it would get to the point. <laughs> it would get to the point where we would just be like, you know what, good enough, and then. <laughs> And then when you watch the video, <laughs> there are certain lines of dialogue that just don't make any sense because it's just like you know what, whatever. Like we'll keep it. It's fine. Well, let's move on so we can get inside. <laughs> and it's no, just that's like, the way that we used to do videos compared to now. Like <laughs> that's not how it's supposed to be, man. And we didn't know that. Like we didn't. Yeah. We didn't even understand. Like I was like, oh yeah, like set days. That's the worst thing that's ever happened to me. You know. But that it's fine. Like that's what making videos are like. You know. You just have the worst time of your <laughs> life imaginable. Yeah, no, it shouldn't be that. <laughs> no, way. no. Like I was too old before I realized that. It's like, oh wait, this isn't supposed to suck unimaginably every yeah. single time. Like it's supposed like, to be bearable. Such a stark <laughs> contrast, like to the way that we used to do things to now is like um oh my gosh like we would be filming like just a normal skit like i i know for a fact that we did this during jurassic park like jurassic yeah. park on park a $20, on a 20 budget. budget we would film for a while and we would keep having funny ideas it's like what if we did this what if we did this and then we would do it and then eventually during jurassic park blake walked up to me and he's like all right this is getting pretty long how should we end this thing <laughs> You're like we didn't idea. start with a plan. Like we just had like had no disjointed plan, just... ideas, and we, you know, and to be fair, they turned out pretty well f- for that. You know, I, mean, I still enjoy watching it there <laughs> through the cringe and like lulls and like Jurassic Park's like so long to build up because for some reason like we 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 thought that like 
because the style of the bit video is just skipping around to the funny parts anyway. But yeah, for some yeah, like reason, there's no. We didn't do that for the intro. We we're like, we need to have so much exposition <laughs> leading into it. It's like three minutes into the video before anything happens. And it's like the video is only like six minutes or something like that. We, like, it's, you know, oh my goodness, we didn't know how to do it. Um, you know, I just just recently really learned how to do uh, all of this. Like the well, there's not necessarily a right way, but if there was, yeah. I feel like we've figured it out, at least more so, of like, oh, this is, <laughs> like, you're supposed to start with a script, you have pre-production, you have production, you let your actors know in advance. Dude, when we used to bring people, I remember when we shot Not So Mortal Kombat 1. Um, the very first one, yeah. The, yeah. Very, the very first Not So Mortal Kombat we ever did in high school, our friend Bailey Connerly, who was in that, uh, he didn't, like, we were, like, we sent him a message, and we are like, no, hey, no, do you want to be so in a video? We were... This is how unprepared we were for things. We showed up to the the film location, like where we were going to shoot the video. And Blake was like, all right, who else is going to be in this? And I just, I just, I was just like, all right, we'll just text somebody. And like, I texted Bailey and it just so happened that he was like at McDonald's, like right next to where we were. And he was like, yeah, I mean, I guess I'll come and be in a video. But, like, we, we would just show up and be like, hopefully people come. Like, <laughs> oh, my goodness. So and he had, he had no idea. Now. Like, he yeah, had no we, idea what he was going to do. Him. I didn't tell yeah, him anything. And the thing I is, they'd always like, ask. They'd always the ask, but now. we just wouldn't tell them. Like, they're like, hey, like, so what am I going to be doing in this video? We're like, doesn't matter. Just show up. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, everybody, for the most oh part, for the most part, everybody was always a trooper about it. Yes, you know, I, I just like I'm so appreciative of everybody just like sticking <sighs> with us because like man did we make it hard for them to do that? <laughs> and and we didn't even like, like we didn't even realize at the time how the unreasonable is, it was. The thing you know, is, we we didn't even stop doing that until very recently because yeah. I know that we did that for um for um. If priests were called daddy with Alyssa Fivia. Well, and you that know, was that, like, that was, that a, that was like, an isolated incident. That was an isolated incident. Was it? I, I, yes. Yes, it was. Okay, because okay. I so stopped, I we're stopped. We're a little bit better about it then. I stopped doing that after I, uh, not even after I got to college, after I started working at the Digital Court. Because honestly, okay. Okay. I can thank them for, for making me, uh, you know, a professional. As far as and that was you know, and that was like that was early on that was like second semester of freshman year right that was second semester of freshman year so we've been we've yeah at least I've been trying to do it right since then uh, because basically they taught me like hey like like in a polite way they're like hey what you've been doing is terrible <laughs> you know like making it your people so like unprofessional. yeah yeah it's like hey you know dude as far back as do you remember uh, Morning Glory think yes. about the implications of what could have happened to us there. If oh, somebody would have gotten hurt the fact, or if we would have the been. Fact that, that video was completely filmed start to finish in its entirety without having to make huge sacrifices to the script and without somebody getting hurt or arrested is a miracle. <laughs> it is a miracle because man, if you watch that video, like we had so many just dangerous stunts and just like so many things film days and just like dude it is, bailey we, connerly no fell planet. out of the back of a moving truck for us Connor like fell off of the second story of a building <laughs> as a zombie and we didn't even film it well well oh well, here's the thing here's the thing with the <laughs> baileys like so I, I was terrible i regret this bailey if you're watching this i am sorry i am sorry that i didn't step in that just half a lick of sense didn't hit Bailey me. is the I type was... of person that he is he is wonderful he is a wonderful mm. person and he is such a team player because if mm. you ask him to do anything he will say yes regardless of what it is and like Connor's the same <laughs> way but, but I remember because he, he uh he's like we were talking about like the stunt because like we got to the uh -huh. like in the script it was written like um Gage, because what happened in the script is uh, one of the main characters, Gage, our friend Gage Perkins, he's like, he gets captured by the bad guys and they're driving yeah. away in a moving truck. So he's like in the back and Bailey's like a bat. He's a goon. He's like a bad guy. And 
in the script it says Gage escapes, and we didn't clarify how, and we're like, we never oh did. crap, yeah, we're like, we should have like this. Sh- this really took we some never did forethought. In our we never yeah, we, clarified. Yeah, so uh, we're like, how does he escape? So we're like sitting in the back of the truck, and uh, somebody throws out the idea. Like it wasn't us, but they're like, uh, what if he like, what if Gage kicked him out of the back of the truck? It and was Bailey probably goes, probably Gage that threw yeah, out the idea. Yeah, and uh, and Gage Bailey's or Alec. and uh, Bailey goes, all right, and we like look at him, and we're like, what? are you serious? And he's like, yeah, like it's going pretty slow. <laughs> Okay, I that brings that that reminds me of something that like so, I love doing fight choreo. Josh, when you when you edit like, this, could you cut? Could you cut to Bailey falling out of the truck, please? Yeah, absolutely. I'll I'll, <laughs> I'll throw it in somewhere, but um, so <laughs> so that that reminds me of just people agreeing to do things like. Um, <laughs> so I love doing fight choreography. Like most of the fights you see in our videos, like. The, I do the choreography for, unless it's just a video Blake does on his own. But like, I love Josh is better. Josh is better. You know, uh, there's um, no, there's no question about that. But, but um, so not so Mortal Kombat 10, which is one of our more recent videos. Like the two guys doing it are like two of my good friends, and they were fighting. And to this day, like, well, to that day, nobody in our videos had ever accidentally hit somebody. Except for, actually, that's not true. Nathan and Austin. But I had no part in that. I had no part in that. No. <laughs> but, um, so, to that day, nobody had hit another person accidentally. And that's crazy. Like, and that's crazy. Which is crazy. Like, I tried to be very intentional about, like, teaching people how to pull punches to the extent where they still look good on camera. But mm-hmm. there's not You don't punch somebody in the face, person. you know? Yeah. But, like, <clears throat> so, these two guys, and these, both of them super athletic like very athletic guys and they're just like oh we can handle it like not not saying they're just they're gonna trade punches but like like they didn't worry about like hitting each other they're like we're not gonna hit each other yeah and the first take the first take one of them runs at the other one and just decks him (laughs) oh my gosh and i just my heart sank because I was like, they're going to be furious. Like, both of them are going to be angry at each other. And they're going to be angry at me. And this is horrible. And, like, they were both so cool about it. Like, they were so cool. They are like, oh, that's so funny. Like, that won't happen again. We won't do that again. But, like, oh, my gosh. I was like, I have to have people, like, I have to start making people sign waivers. Because, like, the, the, because for the things that like, we do, for, for the things that we do, on, like, it's not a bad idea, man. One, one of these no, days, seriously, like, something, yeah. something bad is going to happen to us. I'm convinced because, like, we do, like, we put a lot of trust in people. We really do. Yes. Um, put people, put, trust in people. people put we a lot do, of trust in us. People put a lot of trust in us. The of the stunts that we do are completely real. Like, do you remember? We do the effects. We do the effects, uh, but, like, in Tomorrow somebody, Never like, Comes. Jumping off of something. Like, they that did. is legitimate. Like, they did that. In Tomorrow Never like, Comes, the zombie movie, you had a bat. And you were swinging it at people. Oh, yeah. I was just, like, like full on just swinging this bat at, like, at uh, extras that were playing zombies. And, like, oh, my goodness. Like, I dude, wouldn't even do that now. Like, I completely trusted myself. And, like, they trusted me. We would and, measure it out beforehand. It's like, I'll walk up to this <clears> point. <throat> And, like, you just won't move, and it'll be fine. Like, we tested it. It was fine. But, like, oh, my gosh. Like, I would not do that now. Like, no, there's it's, no like, way. The, I feel like we were just, it was reckless abandon. That's what it was, man. We were, so, like, For sure. like, we just, there was no, like, in my head, the entire time we did all of those, there was no concern at all. I was like, oh, yeah, we'll be yeah. fine. Like, we're, we're immortal, basically. You know, like, being 17 years old, you know. <clears throat> I'm, it's not even like I'm that much older now. I'm 21. Like, four years have passed. And it's like, God, what we were doing was stupid. Like, what we have were doing is... Ever... Was... <laughs> oh, my gosh. For real, though. Like, have you ever been, like, like obviously sore, but, like, have you ever been, like, kind of hurt from a video that we've ever done? Because I definitely have been. Yes. Like, yes. in Tomorrow uh... Never Comes... <laughs> And tomorrow never comes the scene where I tackle Nathan. Like, <laughs> oh, it was like, so cold. Is, I remember it, is it just the middle of winter. It is so cold. It's way colder than it was in the first zombie movie. <clears throat> like it is, it is freezing outside. Mm. And it was we were filming at nighttime, 
So it was almost impossible to get a good looking take. So I have to tackle Nathan, like run up <laughs> to him and tackle him hard. Like, you have to take him. To, he's a big like guy. Times? See, if you, if you think about it, you know, Josh, like you're not, you're not all that, like you're not all that tall. And Nathan's, he's a big guy. Like I haven't seen yeah. him in a long time, but he's like, you know, six one. He's, he's got some girth to him. Like yeah, you tackling like, him. That's a lot. That's a task. And, and we would both just, like, I would tackle him, and then we would both just hit the ground. And, like, as we would get up and be like, did that look good? And, like, <laughs> and it was like, no. And we had to keep doing it. And by the end of it, like, Nathan and I were just sitting there together, and I'm like, I'm sorry. Like, if you feel anything like I do right now, like, I'm so sorry. And he was like, dude, it's okay. Like, We'll just suffer together. But, like, man, our friends in high school were troopers, dude. Josh, this, honestly, you know, this first podcast, um, I think it might be more of a confession tape. Like, I think we're going to get arrested <laughs> as soon as this is over. For all, it's first possible. of all, the crimes, the crimes that we've committed, uh, the reckless endangerment that we've put people in. Oh my um, <clears throat> okay, I will clarify. I have not done that in a long time. It's been like probably... Like, like dangerous. Da- well, yeah, no, no, no. Like, yeah. like I've not got hurt. I've not. I've not even put anybody in a dangerous like situation. Like all the fight choreography yeah. that we've done. But done. It's not even been like because I've seen your stuff, Josh. You do very ambitious fight choreography. Like it's like <laughs> up close and personal. And I commend oh, you for yeah. that. But like I don't like in any of the times you see mine. Like I don't make people do that because frankly I'm afraid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's almost like I had like a little nerve in my head. It's like the danger sensor. And it finally developed, like, when I turned, like, 19. And I'm like, yeah. oh, my gosh. Like, what I've been doing is bad. Like, um, <laughs> dude, I, rem- I remember, you, you were talked about this earlier. Our friend Connor Thompson, he, so, mm-hmm. in in the area that we filmed, um, Morning Glory, there's, like, a, first of all, the whole building was falling apart. So, d- I don't even want to go into that. There's, like, a second story, like, that balcony. we could get arrested for, too. Is the amount of trespassing that we've done in the filming of our videos. We don't have to. We don't have to. We don't have to. Just forget that. No, we don't have to. We don't have to. <laughs> anything specific, but. No, no. Uh, he's on the second. He's on the second floor of this building. He's like on a balcony, and uh, in this scene, what we have is we have. Oh my god! Why did we think this? We have one mattress. We have oh one gosh. mattress for like a. And in our eyes, that was safe. <laughs> for like a 15 foot fall we have one mattress and uh our main actor gage he's escaping the zombies and so he jumps <laughs> off the balcony onto the mattress and no, that's it that's all we have planned for the take we said all right in this yeah. scene all that happens is gage you're gonna fall off this balcony onto the mattress and well, he's like okay off. So like yeah, he was yeah jump off a little bit at least. Yeah, yeah, he like he jumped, he controlled it. He didn't just flop his body. He would have died, man. He would have died, no question. Well, clearly not because well, he hit the mattress. <laughs> no, anyway, but like yeah, go on. Okay, anyway, so the take ends. Gage falls. I like we sh- at the time we shot on our phones. Like we shot on iPhones because we didn't have cameras. So I yeah. end the recording and I start to review it and suddenly I hear this crash, and I look up, and I see another man. I see another man on the ground, and he's like, oh, and he's like moaning. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, my God. Like, what just happened? And Connor then it's Connor. The zombies yeah, had Connor Thompson. him off. And uh, he, he, like, looks off. at me. He looks at me, and he's, like, groaning in pain, and he's like, did that look good? And I'm like, listen, buddy. I stopped recording. You didn't tell me you were going to do that. And he's like, oh. <laughs> like, he he committed so hard to this part. Like, he was just like a random zombie. And like, like Gage jumps off this thing. And he's following him, like chasing him. And he just goes. Like, he, he just free falls off of this cliff. And it's like, oh my gosh. Like, he lands on the mattress. But like... Oh my goodness! Like, and I felt so, so bad. I felt so hurt. bad. I, I felt so bad for two reasons. Number one, I didn't like. I didn't ask him to do that. Uh, he did it on his own merit. I felt terrible that he did it, but I felt worse that I wasn't recording because that's all he wanted. He just wanted. He literally he did it 
because he wanted the film to be good. He wanted to impress us. And then I was like, yeah, buddy, buddy, I'm so sorry. You've got a broken yeah, clavicle I've, for nothing. I've always, I've always like made the joke. Like when I was doing a stunt, I'd just be like, if I break my arm, just make sure it makes it into the video. And, yeah. And like, um, just trying to build people's spirits up in case they got hurt. But I was like, man, now looking back, I realize how messed up that was. <laughs> Cause like, Oh my goodness. I, we're just lucky that like, that nothing happened. Like nobody ever got seriously hurt. No, like, no I mean like at like, most somebody got like a bruise or like uh like, people were sore after filming. Like it, Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm still sore after filming. I'm getting old. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. That's that's hilarious. You know, I haven't I haven't even thought I haven't thought about this sort of thing in a long time. And it's Honestly, when we lay it out like this, when we talk about this for a while, it's like we kind of we kind of gloss over those years. But like, yeah. that was some rough stuff. We, for you know, sure. uh, I'd like to, you know, after this whole it, to any of you watching this, uh, I would like to say with the utmost sincerity that I never want to hurt anyone. I never wanted to hurt anyone. Definitely not. Definitely uh, not. I it was a dumb. Like that's not the case. But. I was a dumb kid. Is what it's literally what it is. You know, like you look back and you're like, oh, dumb kid. You know, somebody says something like that. Like, oh, I was so stupid when I was younger, and only four years have passed, and I recognize that. Like, I would not do something remotely close to that now. I haven't. That's like, just I, the life of being a teenager. Like, yeah, I get. I get. Like, I've gotten permits for places now. I talk to people. Yeah. I schedule weeks in advance. And back then yeah. it was like, no, hey, you want to jump off a 15-foot balcony? Go for it. You know, that's hey, you want to get kicked out of a moving yeah. truck? Yeah, that doesn't sound like a bad idea at all. <laughs> that's just the age group, dude. Like, everybody <clears throat> was doing stuff like that. Like, if it wasn't for videos, it would have been for something else. Like, like it, that's just the recklessness of a teenager. Like, <laughs> Yeah, it's like we literally just thought we were going to live forever, man. Like, if somebody would have got hurt, we wouldn't have known what to do. We would have been like, uh, you know, and then uh, I'm just, you know what? I am so glad nothing happened. You know, we yeah, made it through sure. those years. For sure. We came out the other side breathing. And look at us now. We have a YouTube channel. Uh, if you want to watch any of these horrific stunts, they're all readily available for you yeah, on Rapture there. Films. Uh, if you there. go back. It's not as high quality as the stuff we do now. You go back. Yeah, you go back far enough on there. You'll see some crazy stuff and know with certainty that it's all real. You know, except for guns. We've never used real guns. No, thank goodness we had more sense than that. Yeah, (laughs) yeah, that would be that would push us over the line if we were like, oh yeah, let's just fire real bullets at each other and try not to hit each other. (laughs) That crosses the line into like uh, natural selection, basically. You know, if somebody was like, oh yeah, I'll, if somebody said, yeah, I'll let you shoot a gun at me, just don't hit me. You know, like we probably like they probably deserve to get shot and we probably deserve to go to jail. You feel me? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> well, we've covered a lot of ground. Uh, <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah. You said you wanted to hear us talk about our YouTube endeavors and I feel like we've definitely this is, gotten a good start at that. This is a never before seen <laughs> side of us, honestly. I feel like this has never come out, this has never seen the light of day, what we're talking about right now. Yeah. And I mean, how cool. I'd like to you know, just let it be known. That's how it used to be. It's not how it is anymore. But it's always fun to recount stories from the past. Uh, if you're an aspiring filmmaker, if you want <clears throat> to do something, please do so with caution and exercise safety. I don't want to hear about oh anybody gosh. dying. Yeah, God. please film at your own risk. Yeah. And when you're young and dumb like we were, if if something sounds like a bad idea, it's because it probably it definitely is. is. <laughs> like, yeah. Oh my goodness. So many, <laughs> so many dangerous things. So many mm. dumb things. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. So Blake, what have you like you just got back from California? Yeah. Like what uh what have you been up to this summer? Like I know obviously like the job and like hanging out with your girl. Yeah. And yeah, stuff, yeah, no. Um like, so yeah, no, as like, as far as that goes, um we should probably make this the last thing. Uh I cuz I do just want to throw out there we're we're at uh 54 minutes currently. Yeah. 
but um yeah 54 minutes but 54 minutes yeah um yeah no um i was thinking we'd go like an hour and 15 hour and 15 i'm down for that yeah an hour and 15 okay because if anybody's made it this far they're in somebody's made it this far they're in it for the long haul they're in it for the long haul yeah you know like they're not gonna get some time they're not gonna get to 54 minutes of an hour and 15 minute video and go yeah i think that's enough you know like they're they're gonna watch (laughs) the next you know 15 20 minutes (laughs) um so what was your question? What what have I been up to? Um, yeah, just... yeah, no, so, um, really, um, uh, honestly, this whole summer has been, um, I like to think of summer as a time to sort of reflect, to sort of recharge. Uh, yeah. I use my summers as self-help, self-help, honestly. Uh, I, I've been reading a lot. I, um, I've been trying to journal uh, every single day going to California really threw that Sweet. off. Uh, I, I journaled as much as I could while I was out there, but most of the time when I got back to the hotel or whatever, I was just exhausted. I, I couldn't mm-hmm. put any effort into writing or anything like that. But, um, I've been setting a few goals for myself. Uh, one of the goals that I've been setting is, um, I want to be able to bench press 265 pounds by the end of the summer. Yeah, yeah, I'm currently nice. at, a at 245, but ha- taking two weeks off from the gym, being on vacation did not is not going to help that. We'll see where I'm at by the end of the summer. Yeah, it didn't do me any favors. Uh, I read once that muscle atrophy only takes five days. Like, it only takes five days for your muscles to be like, and start shrinking, oh which sucks. That's um, encouraging. No. The <laughs> other uh, the other goal of mine, uh, I want to get through uh, design training at my work. I, I'm taking Adobe Illustrator training. I'm trying to learn how to become... Mm-hmm. Uh, not necessarily an artist, uh, so to speak, but be able to design motion graphics, uh, just pretty much up my game as far as like, yeah. uh, that goes. And you, um, if you're watching this, you've probably seen the first bit of that in action because I ju- we just rebranded, uh, the YouTube channel. We just rebranded Rapture Films yep. with a new logo, uh, currently in the process of making new channel art, but I designed that, uh, in Adobe Illustrator. And let me tell you, um... You know, you you think that you know a lot about programs. You know, like I I'm God, I'm wearing you can't even see it. I'm wearing this Adobe shirt right now. I got this in California. Uh, I'm so loyal to their brand. I use Premiere, I use After Effects, I use Photoshop. I feel proficient in all of those. And in my head, I'm like Adobe Illustrator. Yeah, sure. Pff, bring it see. on. Yeah, <laughs> I know your programs. I understand. And then I look at it, man, and it's just it's. It's another language. It's like Spanish. It's just, no, I, I understand Spanish. It's like Greek. <laughs> like I look at this <laughs> and it's just like, it doesn't connect, you know, Man. like I, yeah. And, uh, so I, after meandering, like what I did, the design that I did, somebody that I work with could have done in five minutes and I meandered my <laughs> way through it in about two and a half hours. But you and did it. You I did, did it. it. I did so, it. Me. And now Me. you know, now you know. Yeah. Yeah. So you uh, could do it a lot quicker next time. Yeah. Um. We'll see. <laughs> hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah. That's, that's the goal. Uh. Yeah. That. I mean. Th- there is something very uh, fulfilling about doing something like that on your own. You know. Sure. You can always find somebody who's talented at something else. You know. You can find somebody who can make yeah. you a trailer, who can make you art, who can uh, promote your channel. But there's just something so absolutely satisfying about doing it yourself. You know, uh, I read once self-sufficiency is the greatest of all wealths. And I think Mm. that that is incredibly accurate. You know, being able to, um, do this yourself, you know, being able to do things for yourself. Uh, if you don't know how to do something, learn it. Uh, I mean, it's what I'm doing right now. I'm trying to anyway, trying to learn something new. Uh, we'll, we'll see how that goes, but I think think anything's possible when it comes to something like that. Yeah, for sure. Sorry about that. Uh, technical difficulty. It's the first one, so it's bound to happen. But uh, we gotten through most of it without uh, any uh, any uh, without a hitch, without any, yeah. hitches, without any mishaps. But uh, so we'll talk about our rebrand real quickly, and then uh, we'll, we should probably wrap up this. We'll probably just wrap day. it up. It's been a little long. Yeah. But, uh, um. Yeah. So. The, so the, yeah. No. As far as yeah, as far as the rebrand goes, uh, basically, um, uh, how much did you get? the beginning of what I said. I really liked what I said uh, about... Uh, I think we should start over, but... Um, <laughs> okay, honest, okay, yeah, no, so... Yeah, no, for sure. So, uh, when I went to Anaheim... For VidCon. Uh, for VidCon, one of the things 
that, like, I went to a conference, and one of the things that they talked about was uh, branding and pretty much just how you can make a, like, how you can make an image, like, tell a story. Like, how you can make your, like, your brand image, like, your colors, your fonts, your, uh, just basically the look of your channel, say something. Mm -hmm. And how all of those things should be consistent. And then I looked across our channel, and I was like, oh, man, nothing we've made is consistent <laughs> like our, our channel art doesn't match our you know our videos don't match in any of that sense so but pretty much all that we're doing is we're going to go back through i've changed the channel avatar uh going to change the channel art we're going back through adjusting all the thumbnails changing names of old videos pretty much all we want is from here on out to have a consistent look yes uh, we want Rapture Films uh, YouTube to resemble Rapture Films Facebook and Instagram, like things like that. And then also mm -hmm. we want uh, our videos just to stand out more. Like we want to title videos yeah. more effectively so people are more likely to click on them. And then uh, make our thumbnails more noticeable, like just the way that they look. Uh, we've added mm -hmm. borders onto all of our videos. Well, not all of them yet, but... Um, we're beginning to add. Borders. We're working on it. Um, and it's then, a long yeah. process. Imagine going back through like 150 videos and adding mm -hmm. borders. Yeah. Gosh. It's not fun, but I mean, it's it, it, it looks great, and so it's worth it. And like the different types oh, yeah. of videos will have different color borders, and like the channel already, like early stages of the rebrand, it already looks so much more professional. And um, it's exciting. I think it's so. an exciting Absolutely. thing. It's an exciting change. So mm -hmm. that's something we're super excited about. And uh, yeah. while this video is not going on uh, on Rapture Films on the, the main, main channel, channel. yeah, um, we're also like not as hardcore rebranding the second channel, but we are like excited to do things for it, and uh, excited to do content, and just yeah. be making content for it, you know, because our content stream for this channel was never really certain. Yeah, you know, we never really knew what we were going to be posting here. It was like let's just make a second yeah, channel. It started out and anything we don't. It started out as a channel where we would put everything that didn't belong on Rapture Films, and like while yeah. that was a good idea, like it didn't really have a focus at all, and it still doesn't yeah. have a lot of focus. Like we're we're really focusing on our main channel, like trying to get that brand like solidified, but like for this channel, yeah, like, we decided we wanted to do a podcast, and we're doing it. So like yeah like and that's that's ex I love this I really yeah, it's so I'm so excited to do more of this I'm so you know I was not sh like it's not that I was ever not sure I was just unsure how it yeah. would go I thought I was gonna be nervous I thought that I wasn't gonna want to talk I did, thought I was gonna have anything to yeah. say and now that we're and then this in, started and it was like now that we're one in we're like and oh, we're an breeze. hour and ten minutes in and it's like oh we just started man yeah this is a I could talk for so much longer but we shouldn't for sure definitely <laughs> not we'll end it soon but like. Yeah, we're one podcast in, and we enjoyed it. So, like, we want to hear back from you guys. Like, if this is something you really enjoy, like, we will keep doing them. Like, tell us. We will keep doing tell them us absolutely forever. Like, it's not a really hard thing to do. And like, Blake and I are gonna talk every week anyway. So, like, obviously we're gonna talk outside of this. But like, like we we'd be down. Yeah. And uh, if you have suggestions on how to make uh, this better. Um, hopefully the audio yeah. sounds good because we both have pretty decent microphones, uh, which is a uh, pretty so, decent man. This is a very nice so microphone different. we've got going here. So we different have different from what normally our videos are. Our videos normally we have an good. inverse. We have yeah. our lousy we have our lousy laptop <laughs> cameras, and then beautiful <laughs> microphones. Yeah. So like usually it's like we'll record something and then it sounds like it crap. Sounds like a but now it's like look at look at all the grain. <laughs> look at all the grain on my face. Look at all this noise. <laughs> You know, it looks like crap, but listen to this clean, clean so, audio. Yeah, so, anyway, if you have suggestions for how to, like, make the podcast better, we would love to hear it. Like, we're open to whatever. Like, we really didn't have – we had a plan for this, but, you know, we're just going to kind of figure it out as we go. And uh, exactly. we want to eventually have guests. Uh, figuring out how to do that might be more difficult than we originally thought, but we're going to try our best. Yeah, uh, we, have a, we have no shortage of people who want to be on yeah. this podcast. Yeah, it's yeah. just uh, – how it was hard enough we getting actually it to do work it for Blake and I so we'll see like yeah going from there but um yeah so I mean all right this video like hopefully our podcast has a name soon hopefully oh like. uh, it will by the time when we when we post this video this podcast will have a name yeah um but all right Josh you uh you want to you want to take us home you want to close yeah, us out how, uh, how should we do a little outro for this boy? Like, we don't have anything um, planned. 
we need to end all of them yeah. in a brilliant way. In a, that's setting us in up a for, brilliant way. for an embarrassing fail. But uh, I believe in you, Blake. You should you should be put on the spot and in this well. <laughs> If you could see my face right now, I'm struggling is what I'm doing. Oh, are you really close to the camera? Is that how we should end? Uh, no, 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 no. Okay. <clears throat> well, uh, everybody, thanks so much for tuning in for uh, Podcast Unknown, the currently untitled podcast. Uh, we loved getting to... we. <laughs> I was going to say, we loved getting to talk to each other, but you already knew that. You're, um, you're literally <laughs> just talking for the outro. That's not fun. Yeah. <laughs> well, you... T- <laughs> All oh, right. Oh, my goodness. All right. Whatever. We'll have an outro next time. See you later. Yeah. Bye, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. And if you made it all this way, you are a trooper. Mm-hmm. Uh, send us a message if you watch this all the way through. Like, yeah. If, if you watch this video from beginning to end and are seeing this seeing me talk right now send me send me a message send me a direct message and let me know because that is fantastic i i would love to see somebody who watched this from beginning to end (laughs) absolutely thank you all right well until next time see you later